Hey, guess what? My first ever merch drop is here. If you're interested, click the link below to pre-order now. What's up, Inaratax? Welcome back to Minecraft Makeover, the series where I give your builds a makeover. If you've been liking these videos and want to see me decorate your build next, then make sure to join my Discord to find out all the information needed to submit your world. Oh, and guess what? I added mods to this world. Did you notice the fairy lights behind me? Look how cute they are. The CIT texture pack I used last time was really cool, but now we have even more items to decorate with. Currently, I'm using Mr. Crayfish's furniture mod, fairy lights, of course, wallpaper craft, builder's crafts and additions, deco craftia, adorn, and table chair. If you guys know of any other really cool decorating mods for 1.16.4, please let me know in the comments. I want all of the decorating mods. Please and thank you. So, uh, I don't know what happened to my color settings, but for some reason, the grass is literally fluorescent now. I don't have any texture packs on or anything, just my shaders, so something happened with that. <laughs> anyway, are you ready to see the next build submission? This build is from Flareon. What's it gonna be? Oh my god, it's a pink square. Hmm, okay. Well, let's give it a tour. What does this say? 43 Sheep Street, Pink House City, Catlandia. <laughs> That's really cute. What does this say? I love your videos. Keep doing you. Easter egg. I include your diary somewhere. Hint. In your house, what rhymes with ghoul? Uh, school, tool, pool? Also, who got my diary? How did you get that? Before we go on the inside, let's do a little fly around. So it's, it's very much a pink square. Oh, we got a little bit of a balcony. There's a pool. It's even got a hot tub. Oh, that's kind of cool. What is this? Flip is currently in dog mode. Oh my God, it's my hedgehog, but it's a dog. Hello. This is kind of cool though. So we've got the house there, a nice fenced in backyard. Let's check out the inside. Oh, are these, oh my God, are these all things that I've said? Catherine once said, there's an invisible force field. Very fun, very exciting. I know, we can all hold hands and cry together. <laughs> I'm stuck in this boat for the rest of my life. Oh my gosh. Okay, so when we walk into this house, this is, I guess this is like the little entryway because there's some storage here and there's stairs to go up and then there's doors over here. Okay, so this is an empty room unlabeled so we can make it whatever we want it to be. What's upstairs then? Okay, so there's like a little landing, like kind of maybe like a overlook loft type thing. Maybe we can work with that. Oh my God, dirt of the day. Of course. I see those X-Life Dirt Witch vibes. I see what you're doing. All oh, these doors lead to a hallway. Okay, and these doors lead to an outdoor balcony porch type thing. And this leads to another room. Okay, I think I know what I'm gonna do. I just quickly Googled um pink house, like IRL real life pink houses. And I found this really cool one that's basically a square, but like multiple tall squares because I wanna keep the vibe of the pink square house, but you know, obviously I wanna add on to it. Before we start renovating and decorating, um, there was a thing for me to find. Where is the diary? I didn't see it in the house. And ghoul does rhyme with pool. Sneaky, sneaky. What is this? <gasps> is this my diary? Should I even read it? This is probably full of private information. I don't know if I should read it on here. Just kidding. Of course I'll read it. Dear diary, Jem is so nice to me and labeled me as the queen of kind pranks. And I am truly blessed, but I'm scared if now my fan base will not be making art, only making me look like a kind soul, even though I can get rough. Like I joined a coven and it took me 12 episodes to go to the nether in X life. That makes me beat my personal record of 17 episodes and I'm proud. <laughs> Um, it took me 14 episodes to go to the nether. Thank you very much. Um, but but yeah, yeah, I am a, I'm, I'm brave. I, uh, I fight monsters on the daily. I'm super hardcore. I'm really good at survival Minecraft. It's like what I'm known for. <laughs> anyway, let's work on this house.
I just figured out why my grass was so green. Look at that. That's what it was before. This is what it's supposed to be. I did not realize that in the quark mod, my settings were set to greener grass. That's my bad. Well, now that I fixed the weird grass problem, are you ready to see what I did to the house? I mean, you kind of saw in the time lapse, but like you can see it in more detail now. Three, two, one, ta-da. Look how cute it is. Now, before you go and say, oh my God, you changed the entire house. How could you? No, 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 no. It's actually pretty much almost the same. If you remember before, um, it was a, like a squarish rectangle. And if you fly up and just like look at the shape of this build, it is literally inside of this. All I really did to the build was replace the pink concrete walls with the cool pink striped ones just because uh, they're so pretty. And I just bumped out parts of the front to stick out of it to give it a little bit more character. The original house is still hidden within. I even still have all the same amount of rooms and everything. It somehow went from a simple box build to this really cool Victorian pink Barbie house. Before I show you the inside layout, let's take a look at the outside. So obviously I planted some really cute pink trees but I replaced the wood so that it would be birch just to kind of keep up with that soft pastel vibe I was going for. If we head around the back of the house we still have the same pool set up I just made it a little bit bigger. Flip that's currently in dog mode is still outside but once I decorate the inside we're gonna find a spot for him there. Since the exterior of this house does seem like a big visual change, I wanted to keep the majority of the inside stuff intact that was already there. So all of the quotes that they wrote on the wall, these are still original, I just replaced the wall colors. Previously in the other house on the left, there were stairs going up here, but I just moved them over here instead. I believe there was a door around here leading to the outside next to these signs, but again, I just moved it over to the left a little bit so that there was a bigger exit. And then over to the right, there was an empty room over here. This is just bigger now, and I think I'm gonna make this a cool kitchen and breakfast area. If we go upstairs this way, uh, we still have the dirt of the day. I just kind of moved it over here instead. And then here is the hallway leading to the other room. So again, it's just a little bit bigger, and here is the same back balcony. Oh, and before I forget, I wanted to keep all the original signs, which means over here, we could have the house sign that says 43 Sheep Street, Pink House City, Catlandia. Now, just like last time, I went ahead and I picked out all the decorations that I want to use for the inside of the house. So in this chest, we have some things for a living room, a bathroom, a bedroom, and a gaming area. And then in this chest, we have stuff for a kitchen, the outside backyard area, and we have stuff for the dog. Let's start by grabbing all of this kitchen stuff. So let's see, let's put a fridge around here. Up top, we can place a ton of cabinets. Actually, you know what? That looks better. I brought the fridge over by one. Oh wait, we should get rid of this too because it'd be kind of cool if we could put a plant up there. <gasps> That's kind of cute. It's a bit big, but honestly, I like it. It's definitely a bit dark in here though. And if you've noticed, since we made a giant pink house, I thought it'd be cool to use heart fairy lights. So I have them in the front entrance right there. And I think they would also look really nice in the kitchen. Wow, that looks so good. I actually think we have enough room for an island too. So let's put it in the middle like this this and then we have these itty bitty baby stools that look really cute obviously i think we still have the regular bar stools yeah oh no we don't this version of mr crayfish doesn't have the bar stools the only ones we have are these itty bitty baby ones wait what do they look like oh actually they're kind of cute i like those a lot also i want to snag one of these windows real quick because we need some light behind the kitchen sink. I grabbed these sofas because I wanted to see if we could connect them into a cute little breakfast nook. Oh my God, wait, there's slices of bread. I didn't even see that. Wait, there's bread here. Slice of, oh wait, that's going over here. That's, that's so cute, stop. <laughs> oh, you know what would be really nice? If we added a little like carpet or accent floor type thing under this bar. Now the question is, will this look weird? <gasps> No, that's actually adorable. I wanna add a carpet to the front entrance area too. So we can have that and we can have some more plants. All right, now let's work on this little office space. So let's go ahead and make a desk like this. And at first I found this chair, which is like, you know, a standard normal chair. It looks really cute. I like the blue. Then I found this. It's like an actual gaming chair. You can't really sit in it or anything, but it looks cool. Also, you know what else I found? 
I can't put an item frame on the desk. Okay, wait a minute. We're gonna have to pretend. Let's use some slabs for the rest of the desk like this, even though it's kind of weird. But now can we place an item frame? Yep, and then look at this. Oh, whoa. Wait, this is the first time I'm looking at it. This is so cool. Oh my God, look. The desk mat has a glowing purple border. If I quickly replace this, will it stay? Oh, no. <laughs> I thought I was being clever. I was not clever. Okay, now obviously uh, we need to add some fairy lights. Oh, and you know what else we could use this space for? Flip the dog. We could put a dog bed. Oh, that's kind of big. Wait, wait, wait. We're doing some renovations. Pet bowl here. Dog bone here. And if we just move it over by one, the bed should fit right here. <gasps> yes. Before I put the dog house in the backyard, I might as well just grab the other things that I found for the backyard. I wanted to put some grilling stuff in this area. So here is our grill. Then maybe over here, we can have a place for the dog house. And we can even put another bone out. If this is actually two slabs and I put an item frame here, can this go over it? <gasps> oh my god. Now, I found this trampoline. Don't know if I have space for it, but I was thinking it could go around here. I mean, it's kind of random, but like, I thought it would be fun. Yeah, it's fun. I like it. We're keeping it. Okay, cool. Why won't he stand up? Uh-oh. Is it because I'm technically not the one that tamed him? Can you come here? Please? Okay, we're just gonna scoot the boot. Come here. I want you to go inside by your dog bed. Get your buns inside the house. Oh my god, look at him, he's in the bed. Oh wow, that is so cute. Oh, hello. Okay, okay, okay. We've decorated the outside, this cool little bonus pet gaming area, the entryway and the kitchen. So now it's time to go upstairs. Okay, now up here, this, I think I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. I'm not really sure what I could fit in this space. We could simply just add some fairy lights to light it up a little bit and maybe we can add some plants. Now up in this hallway, I just had a thought of maybe doing like a little hallway table, but that actually doesn't look bad. Maybe we can even add some baby sofas for a little reading area. Wait, that's kind of cute. Two little chairs with a bookshelf and a lamp on top. And now to make the floor look a little bit more interesting, let's add a fun carpet like this. Now at the end of the hallway, I was thinking that this room could double up as a living room and a bedroom. And since we have this back balcony area on this side, we should probably put the bedroom stuff over here. So let's build out a little backboard like this. We can place a pink bed in the middle and surround it with some slabs to hide the wood legs of the bed. Then on either side of this backboard, we could place some of these end tables. We can add some pink lamps on each end table. And then in the middle, I found more plushies. So obviously we all know that there's an adorable sheep plushie, but there's also a creeper and a bunny. Look at them. We must have Fairy lights above the bed. On this wall, we should be able to fit a TV. Oh, that's awkward. How about that? And then what if we grabbed more of these? And then on here, we could have a record player. Oh, and then you know what? Above the TV, we could make... Oh, that's not what I wanted. Above the TV, we could have like a little shelf thing like this. And up here, we can place another sheep plushie and a flower pot with a pink tulip inside. And then across from this entertainment area, we could have a little couch. There's little baby floor cushions that yes, you can actually sit in. Look at me. Also, there are these really cool bookshelves that I'm not sure where to put. Put, maybe put them here. Oh, I did not know that they did that. And it's using the texture of like literally my bookshelf block. That is so cool. Okay, wait a minute, but you know what we need? Another plant, beautiful. All right guys, well, I think that's it for this house. I don't know what it is, but I'm obsessed with this one. It's just so cute. Maybe it's because everything is pink, I don't know. But let's go on a tour. So as we already know, this is the outside of the house. And as we go inside, this is the main entrance area. To the right, we have an adorable kitchen with a little breakfast nook. <gasps> We've got some toast. Over to the left, we have the stairs that lead upstairs. But in this corner, we have stuff for Flip the dog. Look at my character with the cool triple monitor setup. I am now a Minecraft gamer girl. <laughs> Before we go upstairs, let's go outside. Obviously out here, we have a cool pool to swim around in. Over here, we've got the hot tub with the bubbles. So, you know, 
you bounce. Over in this corner, we have the doghouse. And then over here, we have some cool pool lounge chairs. And we have a trampoline. Hello. Now, if we go back inside, up here. Oh, no, 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 no. We are not done. I have forgotten a very important thing. How could I forget? It's going right under the stairs. There you go. Okay, okay, okay. Now the tour may continue. So, yes. There is our bathroom. But if we go upstairs, there's just a cutie little landing area with um, our dirt of the day. We've got a couple of plants. Here is our adorable hallway area with our little hallway dresser. We've got a lamp. We've got a little baby reading area. And then over here is our bedroom and living room area. This is so cute. Look at these plushies. Are you serious right now? All right, guys. So here is the original building before and here's the after. But now that the build is done, that's gonna be it for today's video. If you guys like this build, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments which room in the house is your favorite. If you're a new viewer, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.